Afternoon folks, uh, today I'm going to be tying a grey boy buzzer. So in the vise I've got the Fario wet fly hook, size 10, black nickel, barbless. The thread I'll be using is a UTC number 70. So we'll get started. So we'll just run a couple of mil of thread along the hook shank. Cut off the waist. And for the rib, we'll tie that in just now, which is white flexi floss. We got this from Billy McElroy, if anybody's interested. So a couple of tight turns, and then just stretch it out. And touching turns, just coming down the, the shank of the hook. It's up to yourself where you want to stop, but I should stop there just where the bar would be, or take it slightly into the curve. That's where I like it, into the curve. And from here I tie in the second rib, which is fine red wire. So, just tie that in the side of the body. Just make sure it runs along the side of the body, it'll end up with a deformed body, if you know what I mean, with a wire twisting. That's fine. Just tie everything down. Just take your time in that. Back down again. Just to put a tape on the fly. Then just come back up. Back down. Just take it down to about a, a third. So I've said this in previous videos. Basically, for the body, I'd have two thirds of the hook, and a third leave a third for the head. So we'll bring the first rib round first, which is white flexi floss. Just stretch it really tight, and turn round. Just big open turns, and as you come up the shank of the hook, just slightly ease off. Just keep the turns as even as you can. Tie that off. Stretch that and cut it off. Just bring it up and back down. This just pulls up your head. And the second rib, just bring the, the red wire up just behind the white. The best you can. Just bring it up, tie it in, pull it across, and tie that in. Just right along the body, just before the eye, just. Hold the thread tight and break it off. So we've we'll built up a four axe now. Down. It's not bad. And for the cheeks, I like used to use the goose bites. These are sunburst, again from Bill McElroy. Just tie one on each side. Have the good side in towards the hook. Just tie these in. 
Again, back down the hook. Back up. At this point I'll put a wee whip in this, wee whip finish. Two turns is enough. Just stops the thread bouncing off and just bring your cheeks forward. Let's tie these in. Just have a look, just check, make sure it's okay at the other side. Yep. Perfect. Hold your thread tight and break off. Build up a little head. Just check there's no, no yellow bit shown, and that's fine. Quick finish. Cut off the thread. So that's the fly done. So what we'll be using now is some resin. I've got golf here, the bottle's quite empty. So it takes its time coming out. So you don't want too much, just enough to give this a, a fine coat, that'll be more than enough. And just get your dubbing needle, make sure it's clean, just start spreading it about, just watch the eye of the hook. It's a good buzzer this one. I've not been tying buzzers for a wee while so... Top up the box. So just make sure all the threads covered over the bits. Just check the eye of the hook. That's fine. So we're ready to hit that now. This is about takes the time the drying it with a torch and putting the you the the resin on. That should be it. Yeah. And what I like to do to finish it off is just put a very, very thin coat of hard as nails. Just take all the excess off the brush and just give it a just a slight coat. Very fine. And again, clean the eye rook. So that's it guys, that is the Grey Boy Buzzer. So I hope you enjoyed that one, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, cheers.